Hello and welcome to the Inspiration College. Let me ask you a question. What are your plans for this new year? Have you ever thought of starting an online business and what business would that be? You might have heard of a marketplace called Etsy. This is a marketplace where you can sell physical and digital products of all sorts. In my case, I am selling mugs. eBay and Amazon are also marketplaces where you can sell physical and digital items of all sorts. However, this video will focus on Etsy. I'm going to show you how you can easily build a side income by selling custom designed mugs on Etsy. You can also do the same on eBay and Amazon. I will show you from start to finish how you can use free online tools to create a design just like the one you are looking at on the screen. Place this design on a mug, upload it to marketplaces like eBay or Etsy, set your own prices, and promote your customized mugs for profit. I've also ordered one of my own mugs so I will be unboxing it right in front of you so we can see it together. The best thing you can do is to a first hand knowledge of your products so you can see the quality and have the assurance that customers will be happy with your products. So without further blobbing, let's get into the task at hand and unbox my product. Now, this is my Etsy shop and you are looking at one of my listings. I will be unboxing this mug to see what the quality is like. As you can see, I'm retailing this mug at £22.14. It is handmade, the material is ceramic and the capacity is 11 ounce. I also have a description for this mug so that potential buyers can learn more about the listing. I also offer free shipping to customers worldwide and have my returns policy in place for my customers. It is extremely important for you to stay away from copyrighted materials when it comes to your designs. You can have your shop suspended or worst case scenario, your shop can be shut down if you continue to break the terms and conditions of these marketplaces. You should also know that with print on demand businesses, you do not have to have any upfront investment or store any inventory. Printful has allowed us to use their platform to design and place the prints on our chosen products. List them to our shop so when a customer place an order, Printful will print our designs on the product ordered and ship it to the customer. They deal with the printing, packaging and shipping of the products. All we have to do is focus on our business and continue to make our customers happy with quality designs. So I've just received a mug that I've ordered for myself from my shop. So I'm just going to look at it. I don't know how it looks yet, so let us see how it looks. So I'm actually looking at the receipt now of the mug that I've purchased for myself because it's good when you can purchase your own product to see how it looks so you know exactly what the customers are getting. So let me see how this mug looks. Wow and I have to say that I'm really impressed with it. It's looking glossy, gives you a glossy finish and I mean the outcome is great. I'm really impressed with the way my print partner, Printful, has done this mug. Uh, I mean, the outcome is even much better than what you see on my website. I'm really impressed with it, and now I know what customers are really experiencing. So, if you want to go into the mug business, this is how you do it. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do your design and how to place that design on the mug so that you can have it printed. So this is the mug that we are going to create a design for and as you can see the badge there at the bottom, Judge Judy badge, obviously I wouldn't be able to you know, publish this mug because uh, of copyright issue. So that's what you have to be careful of. Ensure that when you are doing your design, uh, you know, you try as much as possible to be original so that you know, you can get your design out. Now we are going to use this free tool called Canva. You must have heard of Canva. Uh, as you know, uh, Canva has two um, packages. They have the free package and also, you know, the pro package. So what we are actually doing now, I, I normally set my width and height at uh, 5,000 pixels both. So I'm, I'm going to create my design. So that's the size I use for the, the you know, the mug. So we are now on to the canvas where we are going to start designing our mugs. 
and you can do a lot of things here uh, you have a lot of free stuff you can use here to create your design so let us create um, our design from scratch so over on the left you can see the elements section you have a lot of you have the text you also have background and all of that so I'm going to use uh, this Judge Judy badge obviously I told you earlier that um, this we cannot use this for commercial purposes but just for this video I'm going to use uh, this badge and just to show you how to do your mug design so I'm just going to choose the color palette and you have a number of colors here you can use and sometimes even like uh, the Judge Judy badge if you look at the top you'll actually see some colors so it actually give you the color of those um, palettes if you want to use you know those colors so at the moment we are just testing out the different colors to see what would really match um, your design so um, you know you just have to play around to see uh, what colors you would actually use for for your background and Canva is very easy to use you just have to you know just to play around with it and see what comes up but you know it's way much easier than using uh, platforms like Photoshop and all of that you have to learn a lot and know exactly how to do it but here Canva is just you know drag and drop so let us use that black background and go into the text function so we can now add some text to our design And sometimes it's good to have your your ideas on paper so that you can you know you can really go fast with your design but for this demonstration purposes I'm just doing everything from from start you know and designing for you to actually see how you know you can do your design so I'm just going to use um, you know just a little quote from what Judge Judy normally would say um, you know, I'm a Judge Judy fan, so just something that she would actually say to her, you know, to her clients or people who are in court. So, are you talking over me? So, that's something that she would say. So, for this purpose, I'm just going to use, use this little phrase and see what we can get from it. You can also do um, like your styles so you can put like you can offset your letters or your words um, it give it um, make it more attractive and uh, you know it might take a little while especially if you're just starting out but you know you just have to play around with the color palettes and to see what suits you best So I'm just trying out different colors to see what I would actually go with. And the offset is just kind of put it in a kind of 3D format. So you know the more you pull it to the right, the more you would have it. I don't know if you can actually see it on the screen there, but um, you know you have that little overlay on the letters. And always ensure that you center your text you know make sure everything is properly centered especially if you use in the middle of the screen so you can also change your text and yellow works well with a black background but then it all depends on you yellow red white because you want your print to stand out on your mugs and now we are into the different fonts so we are kind of limited with fonts uh, because um, we are using the free version the pro version would give you a lot more um, stylish fonts again you can just test them out to see what you know what is suitable for you as you can see the paid um, the paid fonts those little uh, gold crowns those are the ones that you would have to pay for but for now we can do a lot with the free version so 
So you just play around with the fonts to see what what is suitable. But don't worry, we'll get there. We'll have the design just like what you have seen in the previous clip. And when you're doing your design, it's important that you don't rush. You don't rush your design. You know, I've seen some designs on Etsy and you get the impression that the designers they were just rushing, uh, but yet they're still making sales on those designs. But I really like to do things professionally. I like to make sure that everything is done well. So we're going to stick with this um, font and then you can, Go, when, normally you go to uploads when you want to get you know materials that you have uploaded so just like this little blue arrow I've uploaded this from my desktop so I'm just going to use it to, just to give and you notice I'm trying to center the arrow there uh, just to give it um, a better look so the design is coming on and normally when you want to get um, when you want to send your design all you need to do is just click on it and then you would see that box you can also um, pull your line space and your letter space in you can also um, do all of that if you need to create some more space As you can see that vertical line there is just telling me that uh, my text is centered so that's what you want to ensure that everything is looking good so I think we are actually finished with the design uh, maybe just to see if we can add anything else to it so actually what I want to do now I want to add like a um, barcode to my design you know just to make it look a bit nicer you know sometimes when you go to the shop to buy like a, a mug or you know any other kind of item you would see a barcode on it so you know just uh, kind of mimic um, the whole barcode thing so I'm looking for a free one so I can use this uh, free one here so I'm just going to place it on the bottom right and I just need to reduce the size of um, the Judge Judy badge just to get just to get the barcode in so you just pull it a bit to the left and then reduce the size of it a bit and just center set everything up properly I think that yeah I think that's looking okay and guys that's how you do your design uh, now I'm going to save it and download it to my desktop and you always save it in PNG because you get um, better resolution but also know that PNG file would be much bigger in terms of megabytes than a JPEG file but I normally save it in PNG so I can get, um, you know, the outcome can be good, images can be good. So I just save the image to your folder, folder that you can remember. And, you know, then in the next clip what we are going to do, we are going to go to Printful, which is a print and demand company. So we're going to go to that platform and that's where we're going to place this print on our mugs. So I'm just creating a file name for our print now. Just to choose a folder to save it in.
No, uh, this is a, a software. Again, it's a free tool that I use to remove background. And I'm going to leave the link of this website in the description below. So I use this software to remove like any kind of background you know I want to remove from the image. This is a very good uh, free software. There are a lot out there, but I find this one to be very good. Uh, so I'm going to upload the image that we have just created or the print that we have just created. And I'm going to remove, uh, try to remove the background from it. Like for this one, um, because I'm going to put this print on a mug, I don't necessarily have to remove the background from, from this. But say for instance, I want to put this image on a t-shirt, then, you know, I would want to remove the background from it. So I'm going to remove the background. If you look to the left, you will see a portrait, product and graphic. And if you look to the right, you'll notice it's removing the background. So if after, as you can see, the background is now removed. But if you notice, if you look to the right where I have the barcode, you notice that it's, it did not come out properly because then I have a white background in the barcode, which it might not be looking good on a black t-shirt or a white t-shirt. So obviously I would kind of change that. But that's how you would actually use this tool. And then it's normally downloaded in PNG. Or PNG, the file you have to download it in well the extension because um, you remove the background from it so it can't be JP, um, jpg so that's a tool you would use to remove the background if you want to remove the background from it so now that we have done that the next stage is to go to printful where we can uh, place that print on our mug so again you just create a file and save uh, the, the print there and that's it we can just exit uh, this website now and then the next website would be printful so guys we are now on the website of printful and printful is a huge company they have a lot of outlets they have one in Birmingham here in the UK and in America they have a lot of outlets in America so that's why they are able to ship worldwide and that's why I, uh, you know I went with Printful because you know they are worldwide you know your customers would be able to get their products quicker and faster and so you know that's the reason the main reason why I chose uh, Printful and guys you don't pay anything to upload your designs it's free to use you pay when someone make an order and then Printful will take their money from the order. The rest for you will be profit. Also remember that Etsy would take, you know, a small portion. So these are the prints that I've uploaded already. And a lot of these I have in my store. So what we're going to do now, we're going to create, you know, a product. Um, so you would click on this green button plus button here to create um, your mug and what I'm actually doing I'm just going and showing you the different um, prints that I've made already so let's create um, our print so what we want to do we want to look for you know the mug image because we're going to place the print on our mug so it's going to be in home and living so you click on that and then you go down to the drop down where you see coffee mug so we just click on coffee mug and I normally go for the 11 ounce mug as you can see it's a best seller it has 856 reviews and the price printful will charge you is £5.90 excluding VAT they also have the 15 ounce but I prefer the 11 ounce it's much cheaper and it's also looking uh, much nicer and you also have this other one on the right with the yellow handle, different colors, yellow, red, orange, blue, pink, black. Yeah, so I have some of those mugs on my Etsy shop. But we are going to use uh, the white glossy mug. So as you can see where it says drop your design, that's where we're going to place our design. And I've chosen the 11 ounce mug. 
So I'm just going to choose the file that we have created earlier. So all you need to do is click on upload. Then it will take you to the desktop of your computer where you save that file. And we just need to find the file. So we are going to upload uh, the transparent background and also that one with the black. So we just upload both of them. And you can also upload uh, more than one more than one file at, at a time. So you just hold the control key down and select the files and you upload. But what I find is like when I'm uploading too many files then it takes a long time and some might not get uploaded so I'd rather just do it uh, you know, one at a time. So as you can see the file there. So as you can see both files so we're just going to choose uh, this first one and we're going to another thing you need to be looking out for guys ensure that the print quality always you always get that in green if it's in orange then you're not going to get the print of the mug looking well so you have to make sure you get the resolution right and as you can see the dpi is 1429 so the higher the dpi is better the print uh, and we what i need to do now i need to have the print on both sides of the mug so you can also view your mug in 3D and also you create your mockup. Uh, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to scroll down a bit before I go to the 3D mockup and I'm going to click on duplicate because I would want the print to be on both sides of a mug. It looks much better having the print on both sides. So now that I duplicate it, so the print overlap each other so you just see a single print but it's actually two prints there so now we click on 3d so we can view our mugs um, our own mug design in 3d so you can turn the mug however you want you just click on it and then pull your mouse back and forth up and down to get the direction that you need so what we're going to do now we are going to place the design on both sides of the mug so all you need to do is just click on it and pull the design to the left and you notice it's centered. Also make sure you read that top layer part of your design layer is outside so you just need to pull it down and then you notice the message disappears. So once we are happy we are just going to go to mockup view just to see how, mug, how the mug would look. And if it's not centered, you can always go back to 3D and do your centering. So as you can see, it looks okay, but I'm thinking that the image is too much, too close to the handle. So I could probably go back and pull the image around or actually away from the handle so that it's centered properly. And as I say guys, those little white streak that you see in there is not going to appear in your finished product. So you don't have to worry about that. Because it's a glassy mug and the reflection of the light, you know, is actually why. If you notice, when you click on other images, you don't see those uh, streak. And as I said before, I wouldn't be able to publish this mug because of the Judge Judy badge. Yeah, so you have to be careful. So what I'm going to actually do is go back and kind of pull the image away from the handle. And if you want the image to go away from the handle, then you need to pull the image to the right. As you can see, when, while you're pulling to the right, the image is going away from the handle. So I think I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to go to mockup view again and just view it again. And now it looks much, much better. So I'm just going to, going to click on continue. And I'm just going to give my 
template, you know, a title. This is just something that you can remember when you go to your uh, templates. And don't worry that you don't see the image on the mug. It's already placed on the mug, so you don't have to worry about that. So you're just creating a title for the mug and then you're going to save it and then that mug would go into your product template list for later on when you're ready to use it. So as you can see it's going to appear there now. So there you have your design on the mug. And that's how you create your design on you know on Printful. And it's quite easy. You can do the same thing with t-shirts. You can do the same thing with uh, mobile phone cases. Uh, the only difference is, you know, the size of your print. You can do it with hats, cap, bags, pillows, t-shirts, just a lot of stuff they have inside here. So now we could actually use the transparent background on the mug just to see how that one would, would be looking. I don't think I would actually use it because as I told you, the barcode is not really looking nice to me so I would not use that one. Normally when you see that message there, it means that you have selected both the 11 ounce and the 15 ounce mug so you can just delete the 15 ounce if you don't want to use it. Because you would have to create the design on them separately. So now we are only doing the 11 ounce mug. And you just do the same thing, the same procedure. Just like what I showed you before. And that's how you would do it. Just make sure you check and ensure that everything is okay. As you notice it doesn't look really well. You know, so I wouldn't use this. But I'm just showing you how you could actually do the transparent design they just place in image on both sides of the mug now ensure that it's within the print area and once you don't see a message it means that you have centered it properly Go to mock-up and check your design, ensure that everything is okay. And you would not want to upload this design to your shop because you want you want your design to stand out. And obviously the print, it would not be printing well. And if you look at my shop and the designs I have on the shops, you would see that they are very nice designs. So I would not use this, I would just bin this one. can always go back and do your centering if you're not happy with it so I'm generating mockups for it but I would not use it as I said to you I would not use this one I would just bin it barcode is faded so it would not be looking well so you can always go back to Canva and make the adjustments on your design they could you probably could put a yellow barcode on it which would stand out a lot better on the white background and guys the finished product of these mugs because it's a glossy finish the design is really looking good as I showed you earlier in the video the product that I've purchased it's really looking good so we're not going to keep this design we're just going to bin it so 
So what we could do now is try the t-shirts even though we are doing mugs but I just want to show you how you could do it on t-shirts which would be similar procedure. The only difference with the t-shirt is that you're not going to duplicate anything because you're just going to put the print on the front of the t-shirt. The dimensions for t-shirts uh, can also be different. Some people use uh, 5400 by 4500. So I would get um, a rectangular shape. This one is going to be square because uh, remember we are using the same design for the mug. So let us upload the image and we already upload the image anyway. So let us just find that image and place it on the t-shirt. So we can select the transparent background. Printful also offer, if you look at the top on the right you would see remove background but that's the pro version. I'm just using the free trial. I'm not going to go with them because remember I showed you a website where you can remove your background. Which I'm thinking that that website even remove background much better than Printful. Um, and then you would have to pay like £9 a month to use it so I don't really need it. I can use that free website. So again guys, as you can see, one of the reasons I wouldn't use it, it looks good on the t-shirt but then look at the barcode, you would not have barcode on the t-shirt print. So again, you could use this design on the t-shirt but you need to remove the barcode from it. So you could go back to Canva and remove the barcode and then you would center Judge Judy badge. So this would be a lovely print on the t-shirt. As you can see, gold, the background. Yeah, so... That's how you would do it on t-shirt and you can see it comes out well on the t-shirt but then the barcode mess everything up so I would not use this print, I would have to remove the barcode from it and then everything would be okay. And as you can see it comes out well on the navy blue t-shirt also, so you can zoom in just to see. I think that looks pretty good but just the barcode is not really suitable there. And remember the print is only on the front of the t-shirt. And you need to let your customers know so that you know they know that the t-shirt only has print on the front. So I would save your t-shirt just the same, similar to the mug. And as I say, I would not use that t-shirt. I'm just saving it for this video purpose, but I would not publish it, really. So if you want to add it to your store, that's your Etsy store, print full as you know integrated with Etsy so you just you, uh, well obviously I'm going to show you how to do that in in the following videos how you can add your designs to your Etsy store and then I'm also going to show you that product on the Etsy store and remember these are print and demand product so you only print the item when somebody purchase when you have a purchase from your customer that's when you print you know your products and because I'm using the pro version and you get you you can have your custom mockups and then the free version would give you the basic mockups which free version mockups on free, free version is also um, it's also good I'm really going to just use this pro version for the free trial that they gave me and then I just cancel I'll just stay with the basic version because you can find backgrounds online, free backgrounds online to place your mugs. So you can just remove the background from the mug and place it on, you know, on any image you want, background image that you want. So I'm just creating that mockup and as you can see, Printful, they have some nice backgrounds so you can just click on one of them to see which one you would like. 
So as you can see guys, the mug that we have designed earlier, that's the mug you're looking at. So we're just trying to find a background to place you know, on our mug. So you just click on the background and then it would appear. You know, and I think that's nice. You know, if you are really happy with it, then you would select and continue. The colors behind it blends well because you have the black base and then you have the background, it's beige looking, and then you have the flowers and you have a clock. Kinda match the gold color of the mug, so it looks okay. So all you need to do is click on con uh, generate mockup and then you would have um, you could use that mockup as the main image. You also would want to make sure that your main image is really looking good because a lot of times shoppers would go for the image. Once they see a nice image, then you know they would make purchase. Etsy allow you to use 10 images so it's good for you to use all 10 images and the cool thing about mugs you have different directions you can turn the mug in different directions you know so you know you have a lot of image from there so you know we just save the file And if you want more files, then that's when you would use the basic mockup. You would get a lot of files from the basic mockup. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to use the basic mockup. So this one would give you a lot of um, files. So as you can see, the different um, files. You have two ladies holding the mug. Three of them, three ladies holding the mug, which is really cool. The reason I didn't select the first one, uh, the mug does not really come up into the picture that much and you want your pictures to stand out. So you can uncheck pictures that you might not be happy with and you normally download your images using JPG because the file is much smaller and then you know your Etsy shop will load much quicker. So we're just generating uh, the mockups and we're just going to save it in a zip file. And these are the images you're going to use on your Etsy shop. So I'm going to show you in the next uh, stage of the tutorial here how to upload all of those files in your Etsy shop and how to create your description, your title and all of that. So we can just close out uh, our design here. Now guys, this is the fun part of it. So we have created our design, we have placed the design on the mug. Now the fun part of it is to send those mugs or send this mug to our Etsy shop. So as I said to you before, Printful has you know integrated this platform with Etsy and also even eBay and you know if you have a WooCommerce site. So all you need to do is just click on add and as you can see add product to store. So I'm going to add to Etsy and you can see I have eBay also and I have my blog the WooCommerce. So you know I have those three integrations with Printful. So we are going to use Etsy. So all you need to do, there as you can see we are using the 11 ounce mug. So you have it checked there. And as you can see on the right, 
that's the judge judy mug that we are going to upload i'm just showing you how to do this but as i said to you i'm going to remove this mug from my shop because i can't use it um, it has um, materials on it that you're not supposed to use commercially and because i will be selling this mug it wouldn't be um, fair for me to do that so but i'm going to upload it to the shop just to show you and then uh, i would have to remove it because i would be going against the terms and conditions of etsy and also printful so again you come back to the pro version you would only see this if you are using the pro version of printful so i'm just going to choose another design from it so as you can see this is a nice design with a bike in the background and then that's like a shutter or something like that the new mug is on the floor don't worry about that print file in the middle that won't come out in the print then you just click on continue And as you can see that you can you could also use this as your main image but remember we had one previously uh, proceed and now this is where we're going to create a title for our mug a description and then we also need to have tags or keywords as you can see at the bottom you see like judge judy mug that's because we have mugs that we have uploaded already so the cool thing about it is that it saves your time because you can use those same search terms or you can use some other ones if you have more. But I normally just use the same search terms because it's really the same uh, Judge Judy mug. But you would enter them separately or if you have them like on your notepad, but you have to ensure that they have, you separate them with commas so that you can easily um get them so what i did before this video i prepared like a title so just to cut down on the time of the video and i will just copy and paste the title there and you always want to make sure that your keyword starts the title so as you can see judge you the mug is at the start of the title and then don't make your title too long or not readable some people just stuff the title with keywords but make sure that the title is read readable also your description try to enter some more keywords in your description so as you can see I prepared those before and printful at times would give you some ideas of your description like starts from like the ceramic ceramic mug you can also use their description but I would advise you to like rewrite it uh, so that you you know you are just you are more unique because you know other people using these descriptions and sometimes they don't even change them so there these are the keywords that you could also use if you don't have it. but that's how you would set the keywords out separate them with commas so you could easily copy and paste the keywords can't be too long if it's too long then the system is not going to accept it so you have to make sure that you arrange your keywords so that they can fit and you can use up to 13 keywords that's a maximum but it's good for you to use all 13 um, keywords you have a better chance of being found so that's you optimizing your listing and then you choose a section so all of these you would create these on the Etsy shop um, so you have like um, different it's more like a categories on your shop so I'm placing that mug in the judge do the category and those you'd be able to create those when you go to Etsy and then I'm offering free shipping so you need to check display my product with free shipping customers would buy from you when they see that you know they're getting free shipping even though you would normally place the, the cost of shipping in your price really so it's not necessarily that getting sh free shipping but but you know by just seeing free shipping you would rather go for that so I'm going to sell this mug for 1845 so I would be making a profit of like 12 pounds 55 but that's before so printful would take their amount out of it and um, Etsy is going to take their amount from that amount so I probably would be left with like maybe seven pounds profit from this one mug so as you can see I've added you know this mug to my Etsy shop so 
Now what we are going to do now, we are going to go over to Etsy so that we can continue to you know, optimize this listing and then publish it to the public. So this is now my Etsy shop. And as you can see, a lot of designs there. You know, and I started this shop, so as a sign in. I started this shop in October last year. Now we're in January. So the 8th of this month, which is like tomorrow, would make it three months since I have this shop. And so far, I have five sales and two five-star reviews on the shop. That's not bad. Some people would say, wow, three months we should have a lot more sales. But you know, when you start in a new shop, and because I have a, I have an eBay shop, I have this Etsy shop, I have a, obviously my YouTube channel, I have a blog website, so you know, it's a lot of stuff. So, you know, I have to be splitting time, you know, between, among these four shops. So it, it takes up a lot of time, so you don't really spend a lot of time with these. But, you know, I have to be really serious this year. And, you know, once you start getting sales, then you know that, you know, it motivates you to continue. So as you can see, uh, if you visit my shop now, those t-shirts, I have to remove them because, and you notice I have a Judge Judy mug, as I told you, they are copyrighted, so I have to take those from my shop so I can't use those. Because you can get your shop closed down or even, well, suspended, worst case scenario, closed down. You don't want that to happen after you have done your hard work. So as you can see, there is a mug that we have optimized. So we're going to just finish everything in Etsy and then publish it. So you can see it's in draft. If you look over to the right, you would see that um, radio check mark. So here's it now that we are going to upload. So you are allowed 10 images and the image that we have created earlier, you notice we have one in the primary. So that's our main image. You can always change it if you want to. And if you look at the bottom of that image, you can also adjust your image so that it gets much bigger on the shop front. So we had two images, so we can upload this one also. And then we, we have some more images from our mockups that we can add and it's best for you to use all 10 spaces for your image the more image you have the better chance you have of making a sale because customers really like to look at images so here you can adjust your main image by just clicking on the plus sign but you don't want to click too much because then the image is going to especially the handle is going to go out of the image and you don't really want that you want everything to be looking good so let us upload uh, what eight more images so we need to find that folder with the mockup that we have downloaded and there is it I've unzipped it off of um, recording so that's why you see the folder but it was in a zip file you in a zip folder you have to unzip it so I'm just choosing eight more images to upload So this is another thing I like with Printful, they, they give you a lot of images, way more than the 10 that you need, so you can just pick and choose whichever you need. And they are really quality images, so as you can see, they put some new ones on it, these with um, the ladies holding the mugs, they didn't have all of these, it's just some late addition they have there which is good. I wish they could create some more designs like, you know, lifestyle. If you have the mug in the kitchen and, and on the hanger and stuff like that, the mug rack and stuff like that, that would be great. You can also place a video in your, among the images. So we're just going to fill out what we need to fill here. As you can see, the title, listing details, the title about this listing. Who made it so you have to choose I normally just leave it at I did and it's a finished product and it's made to order the category is mug that's automatically selected and the material is ceramic I just normally choose just one from material option then when you go to handle it has a handle of course it's dishwasher safe microwave safe and then also the primary color is white and then you need to give the capacity 
which is 11 ounces. Secondary color, I normally just leave that blank because it's optional. Celebration optional, occasion optional. So the renewal section you can keep it at manual. I normally just go for automatic. What this means is that every three months I think you'd have to renew your listing and you pay 20, 20 cents, that's US, to do a listing. So I'm going to pay 20 cents for this listing. But you might forget to renew it after three months and if you don't renew it then Etsy would um, Etsy would remove it from your shop so that's why I go for automatic so that after three months it can you know can be renewed automatically and then of course it's a physical product that's a type it's a physical product uh, so I would select that one and then that's the description that we have placed you know from Printful and your partner, you always remember to check this Printful. So your printing partner is Printful. You can, if you have more partners, you can add it there. And then that's the section Judge Judy Mug. It's the category. And there you have the tags or the keywords. Pricing is there. Quantity. So all of those are pre-filled, so you don't have to worry about those. And then because we are offering free shipping, you can see free shipping there, delivery option, uh, free shipping. If everything looks, the other thing you need to check, if you are going to run promotion for your mug, which of course I, I would advise you to do, um, because you only pay when someone click on your listing. So I normally just click yes to advertise this listing. And guys, you can advertise your listing for one, one pound a day depending on where you are one US dollar a day one pound a day then you publish so as you can see there you are paying I'm paying um, 20 US cents for this listing and if, if somebody should purchase your listing then your listing automatically renew and then you have to pay 20 pence I'm uh, 20 cents again so that's the listing there published ready for sale so I'm just going to view it on my shop and that's the listing here on the shop as you can see the images really looking well the title you don't want the title to be too long but make sure you have your keywords there your images so you notice I've used all 10 images they're really looking looking nice and then you have your handmade your material ceramic capacity then your description always want to let your customers know exactly what your this what your list is about so you have all of this so you know that's the entire process guys to create your design place your design on your mug and then you know you publish your mug so I've showed you the entire process um, so you know I, I really have to say thank you for watching this video and I really hope that you will go out there and you would get your design out so thanks again for watching and see you in another video